Now it is coding and the magic should happen. Now installing the 6WP cluster can be easy or complicated depending how much experience you have doing it. After doing it so many times, I consider it as being something really simple, easy as one to three. One, you remove the old cluster. Two, you install the new one. Three, you code it. To do this, some special tools might be required. This cluster of mine that I'm testing right now doesn't have all the clips fitted. So you're seeing me removing only one clip. You want to have a microfiber to protect everything from scratching, especially the new cluster. So out with the old, left, right, left, right. Move the harness, press the clip, remove it to the side and it is out. In with the new. Move it a little bit left, right. Place the harness nicely in the back. Wiggle it a little bit left, right. You can also check at this point in time the mileage that you have displayed so that you don't have surprises with a cluster that hasn't been virginized. Left, right. Clip it in completely, push in your steering wheel and now it's time to bring the computer and do the magic with the coding software. So pieces and this little bit, we open everything up, <laughs> so cold outside. Oh, but already we have a nice graphical representation of the dash. Let's continue with the coding. I'll start a little bit the engine because it is really, really cold outside. Read it, save it, edit. We need to take out the 6WA and add 6WB code. Now it is coding and the magic should happen. Makes the car feels much, much more modern and it makes it feel smaller. So the dash with the 6WB, the dials are smaller than with the 6WA or the standard instrument cluster. Start it one more time. Let's see, sport mode, sport plus. And this was the upgrade for the 6WB instrument cluster. If you want to watch other content, that video over there or this one over here might be useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next time.